Hello everybody. Today we are going to see outstanding purchase order. That is goods received not done with the purchase order and vendor invoice not done. So that is what we are going to see. We are going to see that in the SAP system. Let's go to the SAP system. First, I am going to create a purchase order. ME21N. Enter the vendor. This is my vendor. So first of all, what is purchase order? Order confirmation with the vendor. That is purchase order. Okay. Let me enter the vendor, vendor number. Enter purchase organization and purchasing group. This company code automatically gets displayed based on the purchase order. Enter the material. 2037 by material. Scroll up. Enter quantity, 10 quantity. Enter net price. Let me enter the net price, double one, double six, right? Price. Scroll up. Enter plant, double one, double one. It's my plant. Enter storage location also. It's not mandatory, but still I'm entering it. And save it. So this is my purchase order. Let me take this. It's my notepad. I'm taking it in my notepad. Purchase order. Pivot. Pivot. Now I'm going to see this pivot. Let's go to ME2N. ME2N. Let me enter the Purchase organization, double one double. Execute. Let me see where my purchase order is. Be the last. See here. 45 triple zero one seven five zero five. This is the one. This is the one. If you want to see this purchase order, double click onto this purchase order. It will go to the display mode. Let's come back. This is the display mode. Come back. Okay. See, still to be delivered is 10. 10. Because we haven't done goods reserve based on this purchase order. Still to be invoiced is 10. Because we haven't done the goods reserved and we haven't do it to the vendor inverse. Let's do the goods reserved. Go to MIG transaction code. Select goods reserved, purchase order, enter the purchase order number here. Press enter. Scroll down. Scroll down here. Item OK and post. Let's post this. So, material has been posted. Purchase order has been posted. Now, let's come back. And again, let me execute this. Scroll down. See here. Still to be delivered, zero. Because I have done goods, press service. And still I haven't did, I didn't do invoice. So it is showing 10 here. This is my purchase order. Still to be delivered, zero. Because I have done goods, press service. Let me do invoice and check it out. Go to MIR transaction code MIR. Go to slash and MIR. Enter the invoice date. Tax code. Let me select tax code. Calculate tax. Scroll down. Let me enter purchase order number.
were they enter this 11,000 rupees, this balance of 11,000. Here, 11,000. Baseline date. Enter the baseline date. Press enter and save. Now let me go and check the invoice. Whether invoice has been done or not. Here, execute. Outstanding period. Now it is not outstanding period. See here? Still to be delivered zero, still to be invoiced zero. So this this purchase order is no more an outstanding period because we have done delivery and we have done invoice. So still, if you want to see all the purchase order, you can see it here. Outstanding purchase order, which are all so outstanding purchase order, you can see it here. In this transaction code, M E 2 N. See here, delivered, invoiced, delivered, invoiced. So all these are all not outstanding. So if it is not delivered, then it's outstanding. If you want to print also, you can take print here. Print preview. Select on to print preview. Select on to any of the line item. Or go to list. Print. Print. My output is device is LP01. Print all. Select print all. Number of copies, one. Continue. Continue. See it created without any idiot. So it gets printed in my printer. This is how you do. You take outstanding views. And if you want to see this PO order history, double on double count of this PO order history, purchase order history, you can see. You can take material document number and you can take goods also. Goods reserve number and invoice verification. When you click onto this hyperlink, it takes you to the invoice verification. Compare. If you click onto this, if you click onto this material document, takes you to the material document. See here. This is how you take outstanding demo reports. Thank you.